Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And uh, let me first of all say good morning to all gathered here. And also, since we're going worldwide, let me say good morning to all who are tuned in to Vaughn Radio today and also those who are following online. I think all of the media houses were recognized earlier by the Chairman, Mr. Truss. And uh, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers has a very good tone to it, a nice <laughs> ring to it. <laughs> and, uh, in, uh, in the campaign for these elections, that was never on my mind. All I wanted to do is to win an election to get rid of this NRP. Uh, we succeeded, in my opinion. Obviously, there, there are certain things that went on that you have heard about from the two previous speakers, the Honorable Van Samory and the Honorable Mark Brantley. I won't go into all of those details once again, but what I'll do at this point in time is just speak a little bit of what would have transpired over in St. James, because as you heard the Honorable Mark Brantley said, we would have overcome um, so many odds over in St. James. And uh, what has transpired over there, over the last year and a half, just about, it's, uh, our result is nothing far from being miraculous, because uh, we had a list that was padded with in excess of 682 voters over the last year and a half, or a year and four months. Because I think the uh, cutoff point was April 30th this year. So between January last year to April 30th this year, we had a registration of just about 682 voters. And that is miraculous for a constituency of a small population. Large in land mass, yes, but small in population. Where these persons came from, only the Attorney General, the Prime Minister, and the NRP and the Labour Party would know where they got them from. But they came and they voted, and they themselves, I feel, would have seen something in my candidacy, something in the CCM party, and something in this country to vote against what they were brought here to vote for, or who they were brought here to vote for. And what marvels me at this point in time is the fact that we have a failed Prime Minister that continues to prop up a failed government and a failed candidate in Patrice Nisbet because we know he has failed over the years, time and time again. And if you, for, if you would have forgotten, Patrice ran in an election last January and he was beaten in St. James. He came back just on the year and a half later and he was still beaten again. So it tells me that this is a failed candidate that the Prime Minister, the Labour Party, the NRP, the Premier and all of them continue to prop up in St. James and the results come next time around I think will be the same. I have no doubt about that. But we have a situation that we are confronted with at this time, where democracy is seriously under threat. And what transpired on, on July 11th, I think the whole of Nevis, all proud Nevisians, should be standing up at this point in time. Be you NRP, CCMR, if you don't have any political uh, affiliation, that's fine. At least you have what I would call love for country, and I'm sure the majority, if not all Nevisians, feel the same way about this beloved island of ours. I continue to stand up day after day. And even though you get ridiculed as you go along for doing what is right, it is always good to stand for what is right. And I would continue as a, a representative for the St. James area. And also, uh, I call myself a politician. I've now been thrown into that, uh, that realm. But I would continue to agitate against this NRP because they are an illegitimate government, in my opinion, and that's the same opinion held by many divisions. And if we continue to say things that some people in the NRP are offended with, I am aware of a saying that persons who do wrong, you sometimes have to shame them into doing what is right. And that is what we'll continue to do, is to hopefully shame this NRP administration into doing what is right. We know the Honorable Hensley Daniel is claiming that he won the Honorable Mark Brantley up in St. John's. I say that is far from the truth. For what they have done in St. John's, they have added, they have subtracted, they have multiplied, they have divided, they have done all that can be done on a calculator. And yet still, they still end up losing in St. John's. I think that should be a message to Hensley January to step aside. Step aside and let the rightful owner or the rightful winner take uh, control of that seat up there in St. John's. That is why we continue to fight. We have heard Mark Brandley spoke uh, about the uh, petition that was filed in court, that is going to play out itself and I want the people of this country to stay true. We cannot give you every details regarding that, um, uh, that, uh, that filing, but as time go by, when the time comes and you hear there is a court hearing here in Charleston, I want the whole of Nevis to come to town because it's going to be something, it's going to be historic. 
And it's going to be something that all of us would want to be a part of. And when it's all said and done, we know Nevis is in the spotlight already. It's going to be thrown more into the spotlight. Maybe it's for the wrong reason, because we don't want our democracy to be seen as being trampled upon by anyone in this country, anyone throughout uh, this Caribbean or anywhere else. But it's going to be something that I want each and every person in this country to stay tuned to and be uh, associated with in terms of listening, adding your comments, adding your advice as we go, because we have to do what is necessary to uh, restore decency and democracy in this country. I wouldn't be too long, because I know there are questions that uh, persons would have to ask. So you've heard a comprehensive report from the Honorable Van Samri on the Honorable Mark Brantley. So we'll wait for questions. As we go along, though, there will be more times when we'll get a chance to dialogue with you as a community and dialogue with the entire country as we go along. So you'll hear from, from this CCM party as we go along. We won't rest. We won't relent in any way in terms of what we have to do to ensure democracy and decency is once again restored in this country.